The concept of alternate universes is very popular. Perhaps it's the appealing idea of a perfect world where you get a second chance and things might work out differently. Or maybe an alternate reality where you get to travel throughout time, where you can see universal scale experiments, and where you never have to limit your imagination. However, is there really a place in science for such speculation? After all, the universe is everything that there is, and you can't have two versions of everything, right? Otherwise, the pair would really be everything, and what you originally called the universe wasn't everything after all. When faced with this problem, scientists decided to combine the different possible universes into a single, infinite set. This set is known as the multiverse, and today we are going to explore two variations of the multiverse, as well as a possible key to connect them all. This is a deep dive into the multiverse theory. Before we fully dive into the different variations of the multiverse theory, first let's take a second to understand the base concept. The multiverse is the hypothetical set of all universes. This means that any parallel or alternate universe you can think of exists within the multiverse. Somewhere out there is a version of you who is the smartest human being to ever live. Somewhere else is a version of you that is more aligned with Hitler. Every combination of different physical laws and constants can be found when looking throughout the multiverse. A universe exists where the speed of light is slower than a turtle, and so does one where gravity itself is non-existent, preventing the formation of any stars or galaxies. The point is that all instances of both time and space are present in the multiverse. This overbearing property of the multiverse theory explains another physics concept known as the anthropic principle. Do you remember when I mentioned that some universes have different light speeds and some don't have any gravity? Well, that is the main idea. Of all of these universes, it is possible that humans in their current form could only have evolved in our current universe. The anthropic principle describes this coincidence as the fine-tuning of the universe. However, the multiverse theory helps put this to rest by suggesting that fine-tuning is just an illusion. After all, every possible universe does exist, so why wouldn't we evolve perfectly to live in this one? While thinking of alternate universes seems like a very modern endeavor, you might be surprised to hear that this idea was first explored in ancient Greece. As we explore the roots of the multiverse theory, we find many parallels in the the works of the ancient Pythagoreans. The Pythagoreans were followers of the great philosopher Pythagoras, who lived in the 6th century BCE. Pythagoras had a significant influence on the development of mathematics and how we view the cosmos. He and his followers believed that the universe had an absolute and harmonious mathematical order. Because of this, they also believed in the concept of a plurality of worlds, which claims the existence of alternate realities to our own, governed by alternate mathematical laws. While the Pythagoreans never explicitly proposed the idea of a multiverse, there is no doubt that they laid the foundation for our understanding of multiple worlds. Their work would continue to be expanded upon throughout the Renaissance by individuals such as Marsilio Ficino and Johannes Kepler. Now that we are armed with the work of ancient philosophers and the contemporary thinkers of the Renaissance, it is time to venture forth towards the original multiverse theory, a way of understanding physics that helps to explain the origins of the multiverse set. As we continue to dive deeper into the journey of the multiverse theory, we come across a concept that is widely mistaken to be the multiverse theory itself, and that concept is the many worlds interpretation. During the 20th century, the problems of quantum superposition and wave function collapse left physicists around the world completely stumped. They tried to come up with many different interpretations of quantum mechanics to help explain some of these problems. One of these scientists was Erwin Schrödinger, who proposed his Schrödinger's cat thought experiment to highlight his problems with the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. Another one of these scientists was Hugh Everett, and instead of trying to attack an already existing interpretation, he decided to come up with his own. This interpretation is none other than the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. It is believed that when Everett first proposed this idea, he was met with skepticism from the physics community, including his advisor, John Wheeler. However, despite the initial resistance, the many worlds interpretation has gained traction 
interaction over the years and has since become a serious topic in physics. But what is this many worlds interpretation and what does it have to do with the multiverse theory? When you woke up this morning, you had the choice to either get out of bed or turn over and go back to sleep. A little bit later, you were faced with the decision of what to eat for breakfast, toast with eggs or cereal. Then on your way to work, you must choose which route you're going to take. Our entire day is filled with these seemingly insignificant decisions, but you might have heard someone say that these decisions add up. Well, with the many worlds interpretation, it is as if these decisions are all equally significant. When you chose to get out of bed, you created a new universe in which you got out of bed. However, at the same time, you created a new universe in which you turned over and went back to sleep. This and every other decision you made this morning would have each given rise to a new universe, one with just one slight difference, your decision. You see, in the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics, this scenario is best described as superposition. Imagine if it was possible that you were both out of bed and going back to sleep at the same time. This could be possible because someone in your family might not know whether you are asleep or not until they go and check. But Many Worlds has a slightly different idea. From the time you were born, you have been making decisions and in turn splitting your reality into a seemingly infinite number of alternate universes. And while you might believe that what you had for dinner one night seven years ago is completely insignificant, it is possible that this one meal could have determined the rest of your life. Let's say that you really wanted to order pizza, but instead you decide to eat some leftovers. In another universe, you did order pizza, and because of this, there was another customer who received their pizza later than they should have. Already having a bad day and upset about their late delivery, they might decide to go to the bar and have some drinks with their friends. After a long night, they decide to irresponsibly get behind the wheel and make their way home. You wake up the next day feeling a little sick from the greasy pizza, wondering if you should have just stuck with the leftovers. You get up and go to work, but on your way you are struck by a drunk driver, ending your life. This drunk driver just so happens to be the same customer who received a late pizza the day before. This leads us to a concept known as the butterfly effect. In chaos theory, the butterfly effect describes the situation where a small change in input can lead to a drastically different output. For example, the winds that blow around the earth are very complex and at this point beyond our understanding. However, one thing that we do know is that these winds are very sensitive to small changes. Say you have a butterfly on the coast of California. By flapping its wings and displacing a seemingly insignificant number of air particles, it can create an evolution in the wind pattern, turning this initial displacement into a complete F5 tornado by the time it reaches Florida. This exact scenario is what gives the effect its name, and now that you understand it, it is time to explore what this means for the many worlds interpretation. We already know that according to this interpretation, every time you make a decision, the universe is split into two parallel universes, a name that doesn't really make sense when considering how they are formed. One important thing that I forgot to mention is that this isn't just unique to you. Every decision made by every human, or possibly non-human, who has ever lived, has split our universe into two alternate ones. This, mixed with the butterfly effect mentioned earlier, is what gives rise to the development of completely different and unique universes. And as these get split further, we eventually see an infinite number of possible universes, more commonly known as the multiverse set. Now, after exploring the many worlds interpretation and the butterfly effect, you can probably see why so many people confuse this interpretation with multiverse theory itself. But to end things off, I will give you a simple difference between the two. The multiverse theory describes the set of all possible universes, and the many worlds interpretation, at best, explains how this set comes into existence. Whether or not you agree with the many worlds interpretation, it has become a large subject of discussion in the field of quantum mechanics, and it has even been explored more recently in pop culture. Whether it is the Marvel Universe or Rick and Morty, we have seen these characters travel to alternate universes and even create new ones simply by making a decision. I could easily make an entire video on the many worlds interpretation, but for the sake of this one we are going to move on to another variation of the multiverse theory. What if each universe in the multiverse set existed independently from one another? Well, the bubble universe theory says that they do, and helps to further strengthen the multiverse theory as a whole. This theory was first proposed by Russian-American physicist Andre Linde, who sought to define the implications of an eternally inflating universe. You have most likely heard before that the early universe underwent a period of rapid expansion. This is called inflationary cosmology. Inflationary cosmology claims that this rapid 
rapid expansion took place within a tiny fraction of a second after the Big Bang, and that it is the cause of our universe's flatness and homogeneity. Linde, along with other physicists, further proposed the idea of eternal inflation, or an infinite inflation period occurring in the universe, and Linde later proposed that it might even give rise to the multiverse in his bubble universe theory. As I said before, during the first second after the Big Bang, we would see the entire inflationary period commence, in our universe at least. You see, there is no reason to believe that this irregular event completely stopped after less than a second. It is possible that this period stopped at different times in different regions of this greater universe, or the place where the Big Bang occurred. It is also possible that there are regions in the universe where this period is still taking place today. However, as some regions stop expanding and others continue, we see the formation of universe bubbles, completely separating these different instances of cosmic inflation. Due to the differences in this inflation period, the regions inside of these bubbles would have undergone different types of symmetry breaking, leading to completely different cosmic evolutionary paths. A symmetry break is the concept of breaking physical symmetry, or the consistency of a system after it undergoes many changes. The best example of symmetry breaks in our universe is the Higgs field, which gives rise to the bosons that are the mediums of the fundamental forces. Without symmetry breaks, we wouldn't have things like electromagnetism and gravity. Now that you understand the concept of symmetry breaks, you can likely imagine the implications for different types of symmetry breaks in other universes. But let's go back to inflationary cosmology to further explore how these different universes could evolve. This period of immense expansion was only made possible by the presence of the inflaton field, and this field contained the universe's first ever quantum fluctuations. A quantum fluctuation is any random change in the amount of energy in a point in space something that occurs naturally in our universe due to a concept known as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. During the period of inflation, these fluctuations are also stretched, and this creates a difference in energy density throughout the universe. These energy density differences, or perturbations, are the basis for gravity to start forming cosmic structures. A bubble universe separate from our own might have different quantum fluctuations that lead to completely different cosmic structures. The stretching of these fluctuations in our universe has left imprints that can be observed in the cosmic microwave background, or CMB. The CMB is the faint glow of radiation that fills our universe. It is the leftover radiation from the hot, dense state of the early universe, specifically from the time of recombination, which occurred approximately 380,000 years after the Big Bang. During this recombination, the first atoms of the universe would be formed, and the first photons would be released. Many scientists believe that this period is the most responsible for the laws in our current universe. Now, the CMB is uniform in every direction you look, and researchers have even learned to find certain patterns in the CMB that might indicate the influence of different physical conditions in different regions of the multiverse. In a nutshell, the CMB is a snapshot of the early universe, and also a map of its evolution, and researchers continue to investigate whether certain patterns or anomalies in the CMB could provide further evidence for the existence of the multiverse. While the bubble universe theory started as support for the theory of eternal inflation, it has since become a topic of both extensive research and serious scientific discussion. Now that you understand the bubble universe theory and how it might inherently imply the existence of the multiverse, it is time to move on to the final topic of this video. While quantum entanglement is not a variation of the multiverse theory, it may be the one key that could help us understand it all. Quantum entanglement is when a system is in a state of superposition. But what does this mean? The most common example is flipping a coin. If you flip a penny but don't look at the result, then you know that it can either be heads or tails, you just don't know which. Superposition means that the result is not just unknown to you, the outcome of heads or tails does not even exist until you observe it. Quantum entanglement is a special kind of superposition, two separate locations in space as opposed to two results in just one place. An example of this would be measuring one photon from a beam of light entering a beam splitter. The photon has a 50% chance to move to path A and a 50% chance to move to path B. But until you measure the results, the photon is in a state of superposition in both paths. Let's say you look at path A and you find the proton, then you might assume that it was there all along. However, with quantum physics, assuming properties 
such as this about a particle leads to measured results that aren't possible. This goes back to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle we talked about earlier. While quantum entanglement once baffled even the brightest minds, including Albert Einstein, in the modern day it is recognized as a fundamental part of quantum mechanics. Let's go back to the penny example, except this time you will have 10,000 pennies instead of just one. These 10,000 are made up of 5,000 entangled pairs. If you were to drop the 10,000 pennies onto the floor, then it would be safe to say that each of them has a 50% chance of being either heads or tails. However, you pick up the first penny and observe tails. Once you make this observation, the other entangled penny in this pair will no longer have a 50% chance of being either heads or tails. You know that it is 100% tails. This information travels from one penny to the other faster than the speed of light, and this phenomenon left scientists stumped for decades. Although recently scientists have determined that the peculiar nature of entanglement shows that the information that travels faster than light doesn't carry any useful information until actually measured. While quantum entanglement seems to challenge the universe's speed limit for information, it also doesn't seem to have any physical limitations as far as distance is concerned. What does this mean? Well, let's say when you picked up the penny that read tails, the other penny wasn't in the same room. Instead, it was on the other side of the universe. Even with some 20 billion light years of distance, you can say with 100% certainty that the other penny also landed tails. This rule-breaking property of entanglement is what will lead us back to the discussion of the multiverse theory. Quantum entanglement provides a fascinating link that surpasses the conventional ideas of space and time in the overall context of the multiverse theory. The entangled particles provide a glimpse into a complex web of interlinked realities that reaches well beyond our current understanding. Although these particles appear to be independent, they remain inescapably linked. And when this gives rise to the transfer of information, we get a concept known as instantaneous correlation. You see, what if the entangled counterpart of the penny you chose was actually in another universe entirely? Up to this point, assuming the existence of a multiverse, we don't have any reason to believe that it isn't possible. In this alternate universe, another being is making a bet and flipping the penny. Right before they observe their penny, you observe yours, making certain their penny would also be tails. Regardless of their prediction and the previous 50% chance, it would seem like you have decided their fate. This is exactly what I meant when I said you cannot assume a characteristic about a system before you measure it. This instantaneous correlation could affect our entire universe in similar ways to the penny example. Unlike the bubble universe theory, this idea suggests the different realities of the multiverse are in a way entangled, and that every action in one universe creates an action in another universe. But even if every particle isn't entangled with another particle in another universe, the existence of just one of these trans-universal pairs has profound implications. This could be the one way to truly interact with parallel universes. It might be that one day we will discover being in another universe and in the same way they will discover us and quantum entanglement might just be the key to making this a reality. Now that we have taken a deep dive into the true nature of the multiverse theory, hopefully you have learned some of the implications it could have on our world. However, as with many of these universe theories, you may find that there are no implications at all, and that it is just food for thought. No matter how you choose to look at it, there are thousands of scientists searching for this answer every single day. We have created many theories surrounding the multiverse, but the reality of quantum entanglement might be our only hope of truly understanding it. While now we are only able to create entangled particles, one day we might be able to create entangled systems that would interact with one another in ways we can't even begin to understand today. Hell, it might even be possible that the universe itself is entangled with another universe, and somewhere out there another version of you exists seemingly independent of you, but inescapably linked. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I had a ton of fun making this video and exploring the different variations of the multiverse theory, so if you have any thoughts regarding the implications, please share them with me in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into a complex universe theory, then make sure to check out this story about how nobody on the internet actually exists.